that's assigned to a specific month. And that's on like the fourth Sunday of each month is do the annual task. So. Right. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I want I want to mm -hmm. focus on it, but uh, he they asked a question in the podcast. It's like, what are we missing out on by failing to appreciate the value of maintaining, you know, mm -hmm. at the expense of just innovating all the time? Mm -hmm. I think we talked about that. Yeah. I don't remember what episode it was. It was like a year ago when we talked about Soulcraft. Soulcraft, yeah, that's what I class. did think about. Shop yeah. class was Soulcraft. Yeah. And it was like just the appreciation of things, mm -hmm. the, the time, the knowledge that goes into what it takes to maintain it. So mm -hmm. I downloaded the, and I actually started this before listening to this podcast. I've been focusing on it this summer. I downloaded the Scott's My Lawn app for my phone. Oh, okay. Just to teach me how to make a better looking lawn. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't enjoy mowing it because it's all weeds. <laughs> <laughs> right. But if my, if my lawn was thick, like my father-in-law's is a couple houses away. Mm hmm It'd be like that's a great looking lawn that I want to, you know, cut down. <laughs> I want to look at <laughs> yeah. and have in my front yard and my yeah. backyard. So, mm. bought a cedar, and I've been, you know, looking at how to mulch leaves properly. And mm -hmm. next spring, I'm going to aerate my lawn, which I've never done. Yeah, I've never I've rent an aerator and do that. Mm -hmm. um, Just walk around in cleats in the backyard. And <laughs> yeah, that sounds tiring. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we're, you know, in the, just this era of innovation, we're missing out on appreciating things yeah. to maintain it. Because, um, you know, you get done with a job, you know, putting, fixing my screen door, it didn't have that hydraulic thing. You know, I took probably an hour to screw it in, measure it up, and mm -hmm. now it's... And it's an easy piece to buy. Yeah, it, it was wasn't. only twelve bucks. And you do something like that, and you're like, "Why didn't I do this three years yeah. ago?" <laughs> Is this I, we've, we've been, been here for with four this years. Issue for yeah, ever. <laughs> yeah, you open the screen door and just it flies open. But I think it's that way with everything. It's like I'm asking, why didn't I set foot into a gym <laughs> more yeah. than three years yeah. ago? Why you didn't know? I start say getting out of debt earlier? Why didn't I start getting out of debt earlier? Why yeah. didn't I go to school? sooner yeah. why didn't i you know mm -hmm. why didn't i start reading more books earlier right so it's everything and and the, the appeal of innovation is that it's new and shiny yes like my new my new arteries are no longer clogged because of my gastric <laughs> bypass surgery yeah but it actually if you are not funded by somebody else <laughs> it can actually be more expensive and all more upfront Mm. for innovation or for something to to strip something out and install something new mm -hmm. than it is if you spread that cost out and maintain it right so that's that's what we don't think about yeah you know um like bridges or something yeah forty dollars worth of repairs on your car per month could save you from buying a new fifteen thousand dollar car right in a couple of years yeah so save you a three hundred dollar car payment <clears throat> for five years or yeah. whatever yep but and and when it comes to bridges and roads, so that was what a lot of the podcast was about, and I really liked because the, they talk about policy decisions yeah. and how Wash DC just throws money at projects. Yeah, and it takes four years to fix a bridge uh -huh. that was built in less than a year, a right. hundred years ago. Right. <laughs> but <clears throat> those are those innovation or those new projects are the ones that get all get people all excited, mm -hmm. and it's not the just the regular maintenance. Right. Um, of taking care of what we have mm -hmm. and because we're not taking care of it uh, it ends up costing more because more. Yeah, we have it's to rip worse. out the old yeah. bridge and build a brand new one mm -hmm. so. yeah there's definitely a lack of glamour when you maintain with maintenance <laughs> yep that was I, I like that about the podcast too that was cool because it talked about how we don't want to think about stuff until it breaks and then we realize how dependent we are upon <laughs> yeah. the maintainers um, there was a part in there they were talking about plumbers but just yeah. talking about how much of your life is dependent upon people who don't even have a college degree or sometimes even a high school diploma right and it was like we don't want to think about any of that stuff but then when it breaks we're so dependent right, right. we think we're independent but then you know try and fix your water line if it burst oh yeah in the winter yeah and you're sitting there and your house is flooding mm -hmm. and you're waiting on somebody to show up mm -hmm. and fix it right 
you so, lock you need a locksmith to come get you out come get you, get you, get you out of your car, car. yeah because yeah, you never took the, the maintenance of making a spare key right and finding somewhere to hide it yeah mm -hmm. so and that's why uh plumbers can charge what they charge because mm -hmm. people are gonna come to them in a panic yeah <laughs> and pay yeah, it. emergency and yeah. get it done uh-huh so Another cool thing I liked about it is because they talked about they don't want to be anti-innovation. Mm -hmm. I think most of the people on there were like, we definitely want the U.S. to still lead the way in new stuff mm -hmm. and new software and new appliances. Um, but it was cool how they talked about innovation towards less maintenance or towards easier maintenance. Um, but then they talked about there was the housewife discussion oh, yeah. that they had yeah, yeah. where it was like, women today in the house will spend more time doing housework than their great grandmothers did and they didn't have all the technology that we have <laughs> yeah and they, <laughs> they talk about it it's because we've created innovations that save mus muscle uh, output so it's easier to wash clothes nowadays right but they were saying that we wash clothes much more frequently than they used to <laughs> right so it, like they, they were talking about the gross example oh jeez. you know people would wear a pair of underwear for multiple months at a time and right. only, <clears throat> only wash them like a couple times a year right and i'm like man only doing laundry like three or four times a year sounds so good <laughs> <laughs> that's what we used to have and now the technology has made it so that we don't have to like scrub it against a washing right. board and wring yeah. it out and hang it and stuff yeah. like that but it also means that we're doing five and six loads of yeah. laundry and every week. <laughs> what you're saying about calling the technician or whatever, if the the washer breaks, I don't know how to fix that. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know how to wash my clothes by hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nobody would think to do that. Maybe you know, yeah. wash by hand. They would go, oh, if my dryer breaks, dryer breaks, I have to get my dryer replaced. I don't yeah. have a clothesline yeah. installed in my backyard. And and so. God forbid, I have mismatching washer. Mm -hmm. I have to get the matching get dryer. The so, yeah, or, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yep. So it ends up costing more than just maintaining. Yeah. Yeah. So I liked it. Uh, it was. It was eye-opening for me. Mm -hmm. I, we did a TV budget last week, and the guy, uh, Stephen Dubner, tried to do a maintenance budget, mm -hmm. and he said even that after a couple days, I realized as this, I'm making a list of things that I'm maintaining, maintaining this, is this, a, is this is a maintenance ma yeah, task. Yeah, this is maintenance and not letting me do what I <laughs> what could wants, be doing. What yeah. he wants to do. So <laughs> I thought that that was kind yeah. of funny. Yeah. But, you know, seeing it as something bigger than just repairing your house. Mm -hmm. Help me realize that we do we do spend a lot of time on maintenance mm -hmm. and um, yeah um, and you talked about it earlier um, maintaining relationships mm -hmm. going out on dates with our wives um, spending time with our kids mm -hmm. it's a lot easier to spend time with the kids you have than, than make start over and make new ones i'm not starting over you gotta go through that diaper phase <laughs> oh, again <laughs> i just got rid of all the crib bassinet that stuff so funny funny though that's kind of the way i feel about getting new pets <laughs> <laughs> is the the cost of innovation and getting a new pet is way too high <laughs> whereas the cost of maintaining my relationship with my two cats right now <laughs> yeah. is so low yeah. oh <laughs> and so we're just like we'll just wait it out they've got about 10 years left we'll just you know get a new have one. two cats and no when they're gone you, it's no like more. no more innovation for us <laughs> cost is too high of having a puppy oh so. it's um, my friend who's a police officer said it's actually cheaper to have a dog than it is ADT. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> and it, you get a little bit more joy from a dog, too. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> if you get a Shih Tzu, they're great. It depends on how much of a terror your dog is. <laughs> or a terrier. Terrier, ha. Huh. You're such a big terrier. Mm -hmm. no. Terrierist. Terrierist. <laughs> um, yeah. So maintaining stuff. So when do you stop maintaining something and just go and buy a new thing? When somebody else buys a new thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have an example. Our toaster, yeah. after 10 years, finally broke. We got it as a wedding gift. It was $7.50 at Walmart, the new one. Uh -huh. I wasn't going to spend time to try to figure out why it wasn't yeah. pressing down and heating up anymore. So I was like, eh. You know. It comes to a point where it's like your time and your money aren't worth 
trying to save a 10 year old piece of equipment. Yeah. I mean, technology definitely does get cheaper mm -hmm. and that is why we don't maintain a lot of stuff is because in some cases it is cheaper just to buy something <laughs> yeah. brand new and throw it away. Like, uh, what is it? It's cheaper to buy cordless drills than it is to buy replacement batteries for your yes, existing correct. cordless drills. And the cordless ones have the new battery with them, so yeah. you might as well just... Usually they, <laughs> they come with two Yeah, for the price of one. Yeah. <laughs> so... So that, you know, that's unfortunate and we need to find ways around that. Um, but that's, it is cheaper to buy a new house in, in most situations, mm -hmm. especially since it's financed yeah. than it is to buy an old house. Because also like mortgage loans, it's harder to get approved for a fixer upper loan than it is for a, you know, I can't get a fixer upper loan for 300 plus 150 in repairs, but they'll go ahead and approve me for a five hundred thousand dollars for a new house new house loan. Yeah, I'm like um, uh, Yeah so A lot in our culture is because we've demanded new and shiny and no hassle stuff mm -hmm. Has geared itself towards that. So if we demanded ch Cheaper replacement batteries for drills. Mm. They would find a way to make them cheaper, right? But we've just said I'll eh, just buy new drills Hadouken!